Hey there, YouTube, and we are in a new car. Your boy traded in the Hyundai to get a Kia. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, it's a rental. I'm going to Ohio, and I don't want to put miles on my car. So we rented a car, and now we're headed to Ohio. This dash is a little bit better for recording than the Hyundai's, so that's good. Anyways, I'm taking you guys with me. Let's see what we get into. Today, I want to talk about when you know you're ready to apply for a job, because this is, like, by far one of the most popular questions I get. We're going to go through that as I'm driving through the mountains, so I'll catch you guys in a second when I stop the next time. Kicking it old school in Virginia with Lil' Kim and 50 Cent. Jesus, I haven't heard this song in a long ass time. Had to turn off the 50 and low Kim for a little bit because I am in Virginia and stopped and now gassed up and I don't have to stop again if I don't have to go to the bathroom to make it to Ohio, which is great. Interesting facts about the car that I'm driving. One, it's a base model Kia Forte and for some reason it has a sports mode and I'm not sure that it really actually does anything. Two, the wheel light is on, like check your tire pressure light and has been since I picked up the car. They said it was fine. I don't know if I should trust them. And three, if the things on here are correct, it's about a thousand miles overdue for an oil change. Another thing that they said was fine, and I hope it is. Also, there's a cigarette stain, or not stain, but like actual circular, like full on hole in the seat, literally right below my crotch. It's the classiest car I've ever rented. I am currently four hours and 53 minutes away from my destination, which is the Dayton area of Ohio. I've managed to make my way through most of the part of West Virginia that I have to drive through and not gotten pulled over yet because Virginia cops are the worst. And at this point in the video, I want to ask you a question. What is your favorite road trip food? Like you can pull off on the highway, grab it, go and eat with it. I think mine might be Arby's. I love Arby's. Arby's is the greatest. Did I get Arby's today? No. But would I if I could? Yes. So classic Aaron move. I'm a couple minutes into the video and I haven't actually talked about what this video is about. And yeah, classic me vlogging and not talking about things. Anyways, I'm going to kind of put out what the baseline is for this video. And it's uh, how do you know when you're ready to apply for jobs? And the simple answer is that you don't. You never know if you're ready to apply for jobs. And if you're learning yourself, if you're teaching yourself code, it's even harder to know because there's no end date. If you're in school, you go for four years, you get a degree and they say, hey, now you can work. Or if you go to a boot camp, you go for 12, 18, six, however many weeks you have to go. And at the end you get a certificate and they say, hey, now you go find a job. But if you're teaching yourself, you go through a Udemy course and then you go through another Udemy course and then you build some stuff on your own and you make a portfolio and then you're like, oh crap, am I a developer yet? The thing is, is that that piece of paper that you get from graduating a boot camp and that piece of paper that you get from graduating from a college, they don't necessarily mean you're a developer yet either. And just because you taught yourself doesn't mean you're behind somebody who spent four years in college with a CS degree. And it could actually mean you're in front of them when it comes to like practical real world skill. So how do you know? Well, I'll tell you that in a second. I've got to get back to driving or I'm not going to be home until 10 o'clock at night, which isn't okay because I have to wake up early to coordinate with people overseas for my job tomorrow. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. All right, so how do you know when you're ready? And also, you may be thinking to yourself, hey, Aaron, you're wearing different clothes. That is true. And the reason why is because today is now tomorrow or tomorrow is today. I don't know. It's the next day. I ran out of light. I didn't bring my lights. I don't have a tripod. I have to film in my car. It's awkward. I know. But uh, this video was filmed over two days. Fun fact. So this is the best piece of advice I can give you if you're wondering if you're ready. You've got that itch to make that money in web development and you want to try to apply for jobs. What I would suggest is apply. Apply to a few places. Don't apply to every place that's on Indeed that you feel you're comfortable with applying. Apply to a few places. See what you hear back. And if you don't hear anything back, or if you just get kind of the form like no thanks letter, 
maybe try to reply and see if you can get feedback. Where were your skills lacking? What was wrong with your portfolio? Ask those questions. A lot of people are really open about providing that feedback, and it actually looks really good for you if you ask for that feedback. It shows that you're willing to take on that criticism and improve yourself. If you get into a phone screen and you don't pass the phone screen, or you get to a coding challenge and you fail the coding challenge, ask for feedback. And that's really going to inform you about what you need to improve on to be job ready. There are a lot of stories on YouTube about people getting jobs in one, two, three, four months, and those are aspirational goals. We should always strive to be the best that we can be, right? You see Dreaded Dev getting a job after two months, you see Chris Sean getting a job after three months, I got a job after a three month boot camp. They, those are all aspirational. Not everybody is going to be on the same timeline. Sometimes you catch lightning in a bottle, sometimes you're at the right place in the right time, sometimes you're lucky, and sometimes you just do the right things and you make it. If you don't get a job your first round of applications, that doesn't mean that you should give up. I applied to over 40 jobs the first time to get one job. I applied to over 40 jobs the second time just to get one job. And that's just kind of how it works. It's a little bit of luck, a little bit of right place, right time, and a whole lot of hard, hard work and effort on your part. And that's kind of the formula to success in this industry. You're never going to know if you're ready. You're just never going to know. There's not a finish line when it comes to, I've learned this much, and I'm ready to apply for jobs. I would say as a brief guideline, if you only know a little bit of HTML, a little bit of CSS, you can't really build a portfolio yet, uh, you don't really know a lot of JavaScript, if you can't work through simple solutions on your own without a tutorial, then it's probably still time to be studying and practicing and building your own things. If you're past that point, you've done a few courses and you can build some simple things on your own, then Maybe take a look at trying to apply. Everybody is different, every market is different, every path is different, but it doesn't hurt to try. Anyways, I'm about to head to my former high school to pick up my nephews from school, and yeah, I'll see you in a second. All right, so we're sitting here at my former high school, and it's a lot of old memories, right? I graduated, what, 12? Oh shit, 12 years ago, which is wild. I'm gonna film a video about my former high school because I think it has a lot of things that could be used for, I don't know, motivation or something like that. It's, it, it'll be an interesting story. I'm gonna film that right after I finish filming this video. Say hi to the vlog, Trevin and Tyler. Hi. Hi, vlog. Do you guys watch my videos? Yeah. Can you do my outro? We're done with this video, so can you do my outro? I don't remember your outro. You don't watch my videos? <laughs> I do watch I, I do watch your watch streams. I watch the beginning. I watch that's, your streams. That's a lie. They're lying. Go, See, my hey family guys. doesn't even support me, so. Go, hey, guys. Like no, I say, hey there, YouTube. So I used to say, hey guys, that's true. Yeah. I've changed it up a little bit. Um, what is my outro? F I forget it. <laughs> oh. If you have any questions, comments. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Concerns in that. Yeah. Comment down below. Do it, do it. Below. Comment down below. No, you have to, okay, first off, you have to talk louder. Secondly. Right, comment down below. And then if you liked it, leave a thumbs up. Because, because they make the me smile. They make me smile, and I'm the best chin on YouTube. That's a valid point. And if you want to follow along in my journey, hit the subscribe, subscribe button. button. Perfect. It's red. It's down below. Great job, guys. Great job, team. Bye.